one, he's very angry because the medical profession, he felt, let him down. And number two, he is ecstatic because obviously he can walk again, which was really huge for the 65-year-old gentleman. Um, what did we do? We did nothing more but cleared him of the mercury levels that we found. That's all we did. It was not fancy medicine at all. Um, a lot of these peripheral neuropathies can, can be fixed. Um, he uh, now wants, he, he's taking me out to do a uh, uh, symposium for the local neuropathy association and have me uh, talk there. I don't know how I'm going to into that. <laughs> <laughs> so common conditions that can be associated with uh, so, uh, asthma, uh, eczema, uh, chronic fatigues, uh, all these sensitivities, allergies, autoimmune disorders. Obviously, it, it's a huge, uh, it's a huge topic. Anyone here by BPA? We're switching gears here. You don't have to deal with my ADD uh, <laughs> program here. BPA. BPA has been made has been making the news lately, and it's found in plastics. That's right, and um, it was a huge concern because most plastics have BPA in it. Yeah, it's a very toxic compound. It really hit the news last year. Baby bottles are huge in it, but um, uh, BPA uh, we have found uh, can really alter genetic expression. These two mice have identical genes. One is exposed to BPA, the other is not. Can you guess which one has the BPA exposure? And by the way, these are trace quantities that this mouse was exposed to. Not huge quantities like you see in some studies. Trace quantities. Look how obese exhibit A is. Amazing. Just trace amounts of BPA. That could be behind part of the obesity epidemic that we're seeing today. Where do you find BPA? Ever been to Starbucks? No, we've never been there. Okay, I'll tell you about Starbucks anyway. Starbucks <laughs> is this cup. It's plastic lined, right? It's kind of shiny inside. That's BPA. You know that little plastic <laughs> lid that goes on top of it? That brown lid? Just put your own cup. Yeah, you've got this hot steam that rises out of that delicious smell of coffee. Hits that plastic top and steam dribbles down back into the coffee, pure BPA. That's one of the highest sources of BPA out there, right there. You know what is another one? Cash register receipts. You know what the kind of, kind of plasticky and waxy? That is actually the worst one that we have found to date. Right there. Tons of BPA. Very carcinogenic too, by the way. Cancer causing. But that's not today's topic. But it alters genetic expression. What if you have some genes that lead you towards autism? And mom gives you all kinds of receipts. Uh, you go through mom's purse, you know how the heck goes. And here goes by things, ah, a bunch of receipts. And mom's about, in the mouth it goes, bingo. Tons of BPA. Change genetic expression can trigger autism along with some other things. I didn't see a study on that. I'm just saying that. But things like that can happen. And you we, see, see, folks, we're awash in a sea of toxins. It is depressing. And I'm just giving you some clues. We're going to hit BPA again in a moment, since it's, but it's linked to obesity. It's very strong. We have huge environmental toxicity here, uh, in Michigan especially. Uh, what you see there are cement plants. Muskegon has two of the largest ones in Michigan and throws tons, literally tons, not, not I'm just saying that, excuse me, but tons of mercury into the air every year. Guess where it goes? Right here, Kent County, on down, big jet stream going towards Detroit. Yeah, we are very exposed to mercury. Dental amalgams. To this day, the American Dental Association refuses to acknowledge that mercury amalgams might be a problem. Can anybody wrap their brain about around that? Warm, moist, we have measured the off-gassing of mercury. It goes into your system. It has to be put somewhere. If you happen to be one of those that has wonderful detoxifying capacity, it might not affect you very much. It's not good for you. But it's like everybody's college buddy who could put down 12 beers and not have to be affected the next day. We all know a person like that, right? Great 
detoxifying ability. But that certainly is not true for everybody. What about the very sensitive individual? Do you ever notice that one peanut can kill some people and is food for others? We differ in reactivity so much from person to person. So the air, our water supply is sick as well. If you have a well, make sure you get it tested. One of my close colleagues, Dr. Christy Hughes, uh, she uh, lives in the very pristine areas of uh, Minnesota. She has, uh, she's a naturopathic doctor, uh, a brilliant gal. Um, and she was noticing that her three-year-old uh, was starting to really act in a, a, just a strange way. It's just, just, well, maybe it's the, uh, the, the, the birth of a new baby, and we all know how that goes, start acting up. No. So started acting, uh, so she, she started looking. Uh, they had just moved into a new home, and maybe it was a new home. Finally got her water checked, and she is really in a very pristine area, loaded with lead. Her water, loaded with lead. Lead causes permanent damage. It's really a sad thing. Lead stays in your system. Very hard to get rid of. She, she put the little three-year-old on a little bit of ultra meal and a little bit of ultra clear along with it. Actually, got, I don't know how she did it, but she got the three-year-old to like it. And two months, so right now, doing much better. Behavior is starting to improve. But you can never be sure. Get your water tested. If you have city water, I would get it tested anyway. What about the plumbing in your house? And I would definitely filter the city water. I'm not even going to go into the chemicals that get thrown in there. I would definitely get it tested. Our food, it's a bit of a depressing topic. Um, but when you really wash your foods, you know you're only getting rid of 8% of the stuff. Most of it's inside. Is it worth doing? Yeah, 8% is 8%. No question about it. But you wash a strawberry, and I hope you do. That's great. But there are certain foods that you really want to go with, organic foods, and we'll cover those. Here's pesticide use. It is incredible. You know what the, who the worst offender of pesticides are? Golf courses. There's a few of them around here, isn't there? Yeah, yeah it, it always amazes me. Um, why do you know I've never played a game in my life, ever? But I have one, gone running across them. And I kind of wonder on a hot, humid day, all the off gassing that's occurring, and you're breathing heavy, and it's all coming into your system, isn't it? So even, even that way, how about if they're spraying and you're just downstream a little bit from it, as that vapor does go into the air. So there's a lot. There's 85,000 chemicals to date that we have, uh, as far as the different names, I find that one number of just incomprehensible. Uh, two to 3,000 new chemicals are introduced each year. How are we going to keep track of all those? There is absolutely no way that we can keep track of all these chemicals. And how about interactions? There's no way they're going to study how does this chemical interact with this one and this one. There's no, we don't know. We just don't know. So back to this PBA, the toys, cosmetics, perfumes, uh, there's a lot of plastics out there, uh, and even your computer, when it gets warm, will affect you. It will affect you. The synergistic effects of toxic metals. This one is really fascinating. Everything is measured in LDs, lethal dose. Yeah? So something is a LD of one, you are going to kill 1% of animals with that, and theoretically humans. Yeah? So you put mercury salts, lethal dose of 1 out of 100, mercury salt together with 1 20th of the LDB of the lead salt. It killed all the animals. Let me go over that so we really get this one. You use a compound that kills 1 out of 100 animals, mercury gas. Add just a teensy, teensy bit of another chemical compound to it, 1 20th of an LD1. Lead. Add that to the gas. So now we got mercury with just a teensy amount of lead, and we have a 100% fatality rate. That is inter interaction. That is synergy. That is how dangerous chemicals are. That's 